The NYPD Hate Crimes Task Force investigating vandalism at a Soho art gallery. It features work by black artists commemorating the victims of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. It's been targeted for a third time this week. This is Natalie Dutrich. Is there live with the very latest? Natalie. Well, Mary, the owner of the Black Wall Street Gallery is asking for more police presence and more security after this latest incident. Now, you can see this time, vandals drew what appears to be an outline of a person or skeleton, and then below that, it has them scratching their heads. It says, etc. real art. I don't know what etc. real art means. I'm not too sure. But if you're saying that this is not real, it is very real. It comes from a very real place. It comes from a very real place, a place where it's like, we're coming against trauma, we're coming against white supremacy. Amani Lewis's artwork is hanging inside the Black Wall Street Gallery on Mercer Street. She came to see it today, but instead learned the gallery had been vandalized several times. The first incident was discovered Monday morning on the anniversary of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. White paint was smeared on the words Black Wall Street Gallery. We're talking about Black Wall Street and our whole towns were destroyed. People like destroyed our houses, our communities. I mean, we made we made communities before, and that got destroyed. So this is not surprising. The second incident, found Tuesday morning, had the letters E D H R L L scrawled on the window. The third was discovered today with the words "etc." Real art and this unknown stick figure drawn in black marker. The NYPD Hate Crimes Task Force is looking into the crimes. It's still unclear if one person or several are responsible. Yeah, it's shocking. Why would somebody do that? Seeing racism to this uh, degree, like in 2021, is just so foreign for me. To get out of the way to catch the people. No other businesses on the street have been reported vandalized. 21 black artists from around the world are featured in this exhibit called 21 Peace Salute. It will be displayed here through Juneteenth, the observance of the end of slavery, which is June 19th. Now, the gallery owner says he's decided to leave these acts of vandalism on the glass to remind the community that racism still exists. He will be holding alongside elected officials a rally and protest here today denouncing hate outside the gallery beginning at 2 p.m. We're live in Soho, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.